Today I'm at the range working on my precision shooting skills. Hi, I'm Doug Koenig and today I'd like to share with you some tips on what I do to help me with the Masters Precision Event or Bullseye Type Shooting. One of the key fundamental things I find that is most important in precision one-handed shooting is your stance, or I should say footwork. I see a lot of different stances for a lot of different shooters. Most importantly, you have to get what's comfortable for you. But what I like to do is be at about a 45 degree angle to my targets. Okay, And the way I typically will set up is I'll look at the target, I'll close my eyes, I'll bring my arm up, open my eyes and see where my natural point of aim is. Because I don't want to have to fight that during the string. So I want to get set, okay, open up, I'm pointing right at the targets. If you have to adjust, if you're, if you're pointed to the right, you need to move your back foot back to the right. Same thing, if you're pointed left, you need to move your back foot up front a little bit or to the left, which will turn your natural point of aim. Get that set, that way you're not fighting your own body you know, position. All right, once you have that established, the next thing is the grip, okay? Just like with a two-handed grip, the one-hand grip is very important because you want to make sure that your finger is on the trigger at the same place every single time, okay? So you want to have a nice, consistent grip, fingers on the trigger. Now, some shooters also elect, you know, whether they put their, their weak arm up here in their pocket, just ha naturally down at sides. I like to keep mine in my front pocket. I just feel like I'm a little more balanced. You know, a little bit of shift of weight here. Okay, once you've got your stance correct and your grip, the other question is how much grip tension do you use? The same, I stick with the same philosophy whether I'm one-handed or two-hand shooting. I'm going to hold the gun tight enough that it's not falling out of my hand, okay, but I'm not going to put a death grip on it. If you try to squeeze it too hard, you're going to see all sorts of movement in the gun, and that's the last thing you need when you're trying to shoot you know, precision shots. Okay, Just a nice even grip, about the same amount of grip you would use to hold a hammer so it wouldn't fly out of your hand. Fingers on the trigger correctly. Okay. Some of the things you can do aside of the range, you know, you dry fire just like you would your center fire, whether you're practicing from your holster or what have you. You can dry fire or rim fire, that's okay. The only thing you have to make sure is the firing pin is not hitting uh, the barrel face. If it's not, you're perfectly fine uh, to dry fire with a rim fire. But it's the same principles. Okay, we're unloaded here. You know, I'll stand at night and just work on the muscle memory, squeezing the shot off. Okay, it's really important because when you get to the range, you want to actually shoot at the range. You want to have all your gun handling skills uh, and work on your muscle memory at home. The hardest thing with bullseye or precision type shooting one handed is getting yourself strong enough to hold the gun up. If the only time you get a chance to work on those muscles is when you get to the range for a half hour, you know, once or twice a week, it's not going to be enough to really help you. Get the muscles worked, you know, 15, 20 minutes a day, whether you're watching TV or whatever you might be doing, work on the computer, just stand there and work on it, you know. Aim at a, aim, put a little target up on the wall, work on your hold, work, work, work. Okay, I hope these tips help you. Now it's your turn to get to the range, work on some of these fundamentals, and if you're looking for a place to shoot, go on NSSF's website, wheretoshoot.org, and always remember, firearm safety depends on you.